हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल फूड टेक नेटवर्क आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड माय नेम इज हनुष शर्मा एंड इन दिस लेक्चर व्हिच इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ रूट सीरीज विल टॉक अबाउट अदर टाइप्स ऑफ रूट बेवरेजेस आरटीएस नेक्टर कॉर्डियल एंड क्रश सो लेट अस बिगिन दिस क्लास विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ आरटीएस आरटीएस स्टैंड्स फॉर रेडी टू सर्व बेवरेज The ready to serve beverages as per FSSAI specifications should contain at least 10% of fruit juice content and not less than 10% or 10 degree bricks of TSS besides 0.3% maximum acidity in terms of citric acid the levels of permitted preservatives that can be 70 ppm as sulfur dioxide and 120 ppm as benzoic acid the total plant count which describes the microbial uh, presence in the food content should be for yeast it should be not more than 50 colony forming unit per ml and for mold it should not be more than 2 colony forming unit per ml so if we revise the specification so 10% is the minimum fruit juice content which an rts should have and 10 degree bricks is the minimum tss or total soluble solid the acidity is maximum 0.3% the uh, preservative in terms of sulfur dioxide is 70 ppm for in terms of benzoic acid it's 120 ppm and the total plate count for yeast is 50 cfu per ml and for molds it's 2 cfu per ml respectively the coliform counts which determines the bacterial presence the coliforming bacteria like e coli and all those gastrointestinal bacteria it should be nil in 100 ml sample since these beverages are consumed as such without dilution hence these are termed as ready to serve beverage because you need not dilute it with water the majority of packaged fruit beverages belong to the category of rts wide range of fruits including mango citrus fruits berries lychee guava pineapple grapes etc are preferred for rts beverage manufacturing required amount of sugar acid stabilizer coloring and flavoring ingredients are added in rts or pulp along with water and the mixture is blending is blended properly or filtered if desired also once the rts is manufactured we need to have it undergo the process of uh, microbial inactivation and destruction by means of pasteurization so for pasteurization the temperature being employed is 80 to 90 degrees celsius if our rts is in bottle and the time duration is 20 to 30 minutes so 80 to 90 degrees celsius for 20 to 30 minutes and in case of continuous rt pasteurization the time is reduced to a few seconds to 1 minute and after the pasteurization we need to give a thermal shock again so it is cool down immediately nowadays uht or ultra high temperature processing of rts beverages is quite popular because of longer shelf life and less loss of nutrients during processing now let us see this process of uh, manufacturing during uh, using this flow chart so first of all we need to use you know fresh fruits neither over ripe nor under ripe we need to wash them properly with chlorine water 50 ppm or something else then the rts extraction process in which the juice or pulp is extracted once we have extracted it out we mix sugar citric acid and water sugar is completely dissolved and this solution is cooled if at all we implied heat during dissolving we filter it through muslin cloth and the pasteurization is performed say for 80 degrees celsius uh, for the duration of 10 minutes so the pasteurization is done at 80 degrees celsius for 10 minutes kms of potassium metabisulfite is added at the concentration of 700 ppm plus 500 ppm and The, then it is cooled at room temperature and packaged and stored now when we talk about the packaging it can be packaged in glass bottles as we see in the market or it can be packaged in pet uh, uh, bottles and uh, apart uh, like perithelic acid 
polypetrophthalic acid and apart from this we also have tetra packaged rts so means of packaging is different and so is the final production the glass we imply the glass bottles we after filling uh, pasteurize the whole bottle itself in hot or hot water at higher temperatures in case of tetra pack we use the process of aseptic filling, uh, filling in which a completely pasteurized uh, juice or rts is filled in sterilized uh, these packages which are sterilized using uh, h2o2 or heat sterilization and then uh, this is filled in it in case of plastic normal hot filling is used uh, and also it is ensured that the plastic is not degraded while filling so this was about rts now let us discuss about the next category of fruit beverage that is nectar so nectar is prepared from the tropical fruits and its pulp such as mango lychee guava papaya citrus fruits and pineapple by adding sugar acid and other ingredients as per fss ai specification nectar should contain tss not less than 15 degree breaks and uh, the amount of uh, you know fruit juice should not be less than 20 percent except for pineapple and citrus fruits which have a separate uh, specification for fruit juice that is 40 percent fruit pulp or puree or juice or concentrate may be used as the starting material the acidity of nectar should not be more than 3.5 percent in terms of anhydrous citric acid the maximum permissible limit for uh, of the preservative in nectar is sorbic acid at 50 ppm we know sorbic acid is a very important preservative the sorbic acid is added as sodium or potassium salt of sorbic acid like sodium uh, sorbate or potassium sorbate just like rts nectar is also not diluted before consumption it is also characterized by cloudy appearance and thick mouth feel when consumed the cloudiness in nectar and to some extent rts and other beverages is because of the presence of polysaccharides such as pectin, polygalactyronic acid, cellulose, which is a polymer of uh, you know glucose, beta glucose bound by beta one six uh, beta one floor glycosidic linkage, and uh, hemicellulose starch that is made up of alpha glucose. So the loss of cloudiness, especially in citrus juices, is due to the activity of pectin methyl esterase which causes de-esterification of pectin molecule resulting in settling down of pectin and loss of cloudiness. So if you want to reduce the cloudiness in your juice, you need to use pectin methyl esterase, which will remove the methoxide, the methoxyl alcohol group from this uh, galacturonic acid structure and methanol will be released and, the, and another molecule without the methanol component will be formed. Therefore, citrus juices or communities must be thermally treated to inactivate the PME. Sometimes hydrocolloids are added to stabilize the cloudiness. Preservation of nectar is achieved in similar way as mentioned for RTS beverages like pasteurization in a different time and temperature combinations. Now, if we talk about the pasteurization of nectar, so we must be aware of the fact that the limited shelf life of nectar a few days at refrigerated temperatures could be overcome by any method of pasteurization. So the first one is flash pasteurization. In this case, the nectar may be pasteurized in plate type pasteurizer, which is provided with heat recovery and cooling unit. Temperature in the range of 85 to 90 degrees Celsius for 15 to 60 seconds is used for most of the products. However, it again depends on the type of juice and initial microbial load. We know that in flash vaporization or flash pasteurization, we take the use of steam, highly energetic steam. The products where both enzyme as well as microbial inactivation is desired, slightly higher temperature that is 90 to 95 degrees Celsius for not more than 15 seconds is used. Tubular pasteurizer is preferred for slightly viscous nectars. For aseptic packaging operations, pasteurizer is integrated with aseptic packaging unit either directly or via an aseptic buffer tank. Now we know during aseptic packaging, already sterilized packaging materials are filled with hot 
freshly pasteurized juice so that there is no chance of contamination now let us see the process through a flow chart so it is an example of processing of pomegranate uh, nectar so first of all we take whole pomegranate we wash it to particular disinfectant or sanitizing or cleaning agent and then we select the right things and selected ones are already washed uh, of course then the peeling is done to remove the peel by using enzyme or other methods we mash it we press it press cake is uh, discarded or is obtained as a byproduct which can be used for other operations it is then cooled cold stored the juice which is obtained after this pressing and pasteurized now this pasteurized follows the process of cooling enzyme is utilized for clarification and removal of cloudy materials and other such undesirable molecules then it is ultra filtered evaporated to form the concentrate now sucrose and water are added the nectar is formed it is repasteurized and finally packaged to form pasteurized pomegranate nectar it must be known that just like rtas it can also have different pasteurization like uh, in bottle pasteurization or aseptic packaging based pasteurization depending on the final mode of release now uh, the third or the next uh, category of the beverage fruit based beverage is cordial so fruit juice cordial is a sparkling that is lustrous shiny clear sweetened fruit beverage from which all the pulp and other suspended suspended large sized materials and molecules have been completely eliminated cordial is prepared by mixing clarified fruit juice clarified means from which the suspended molecules and particles are removed with sugar syrup acid and other ingredients as per fssa that is food safety and standards act specification cordial should not have less than 25% fruit content and the tss should not be less than 30 degree bricks now if we talk about the acidity then the acidity of the cordial should not be more than 3.5 percent as anhydrous citric acid the maximum permissible limit of preservative in cordial is 350 ppm of sulfur dioxide or 600 ppm of benzoic acid the citrus juices such as lime and lemon are preferred for making cordial the cordial are generally consumed by mixing with alcoholic beverages like gin the fruit juices are either stored for longer period to remove suspended solids and pectinous material or it may be treated with commercial enzyme preparation like pectinase to hydrolyze pectin to have a very clear you know sparkling uh, cordial made the clarified juice is used for the cordial preparation now let us see the flow chart first of all we select the perfectly ripened fruits and the ripened fruits are washed with the suitable agent it is cut juice is extracted and strained to remove all the suspended uh, you know particulate matters like uh, uh, not even particulate even the larger size particles like the seeds fibers and other such things enzyme treatment is implied like 1% pectinase is used to clear it up clarification is done c for 10 to 15 days it is a long process siphoning or decanting to remove further settle down particles is done then uh, estimated uh, estimation of tss is done and the acidity is also done and if it is lacking the required tss or whatever the necessary operation is needed to obtain that particular tss that is done that is 30 degree bricks is obtained by addition of sugar and other things like acid this is well mixed and strained using a filter aid for instance a muslin cloth the clear cordial is obtained it can be bottle capped and stored until used in some cases it is not pasteurized because it already has a good you know sugar content while in other cases preservative is enough to get the work done So this was all about today's video. I hope you liked my video. Still, if you have any doubt, you can pin them down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you out. 